Hey guys and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. Those of you who are new here, I am Kate and I blog over at sewingfromscratch.com as well as run this YouTube channel to help you. Today we're going to learn about the zipper foot. So you'll notice on your basic zipper foot it has the, this bar here that connects to the shank and there's, there's a divider in between so it's only going to connect on either side, either the left side or the right side and that depends on what you're sewing and where the zipper is at and that's going to take a little bit of playing around with to figure out what you like and what you don't like. So then as we move down here to the actual foot part, maybe it's called the toe, I don't know. <laughs> this is a little bit narrower than, than uh, your regular all-purpose foot. But the biggest difference you'll notice is that on the zipper foot you have these notches on the left and right sides and that's where your needle's going to go. On a regular foot, the needle goes in between in this slot here, and there's guards on the side, so your fingers really can't get stuck in there unless you put your finger in there. On your zipper foot, there's no guard, so it is and can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. So it's definitely important to be careful and not be distracted when you're doing your first zippers. Then you just pop it on your machine, either on the right or left side, and then you're just gonna bring your thread down and loop it into the thread guide and pull it back. So for what we're sewing with, I'm going to be making a basic zipper pouch for my daughter, for her little pups, and I'm using a liner and an outer piece. So I will do a full tutorial on this and have that uploaded soon, but for today we're just gonna do the zipper. So you take your outer piece, lay it down, zipper face down on top of that so right sides are together and then your liner piece goes face down on top of that so the liner and the outer piece are right sides together. What you need to know when doing a zipper is the zipper will be sandwiched between two pieces or if you're just doing a single layer then just have the outer or the single layer and your zipper right sides together. And then you can pin or clip in place. Since this is a pretty small zipper, I think it's seven inch, I'm just gonna clip on the one side. So then you take it to your machine and you can feel your zipper where it's at. I'm going to make sure I'm sewing on the top of the zipper. That's just kind of how I prefer it, just because of the way the zipper foot is. It holds it nicer in place. So you're gonna go to your machine and I recommend, because I'll be starting at the top of the zipper here and the actual zipper pull is right there. I'm going to unzip it a bit so that I can get it nicely started on my machine. And then I'm going to re-zip it. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna put my zipper foot on the left side here for this application. And then my thread will just kind of loop around or hold it however you prefer. You want to be set to a straight stitch. I like longer stitches just because it goes faster and then the width doesn't matter just because it's a straight stitch that's only going to move your needle placement. So I'm going to keep it at the zero because that's the farthest to the right for mine. Just make sure that your needle doesn't actually hit the foot and my tension is at four which is basic for cotton. And now I'm going to sew. So the part to remember about the zipper foot is that this front toe part is going to be on the fabric that you're sewing and then the overhanging part of the foot is going to rest on the zipper. So it kind of acts as a guide where you can keep it tight to the zipper without needing to see it because the, the foot will feel it. So now that I've started a bit, I'm going to go ahead and bring the zipper pull back up because I'm past the top and this can get tricky just because of your, your foot so you want to make sure your needle is down lift your foot your presser foot and then you should be able to zip that zipper back up and you'll be past sewing right beside the zipper pull you can tell obviously that it's bigger so it's going to push you want to push your foot and then you might bust a needle or who knows what I've gone a little further now. Now I can hopefully slide this up. There we go. It's out of the way now. That's done. And we're just going to continue sewing here, making sure everything is lined up. You really want to make sure that zipper is at the edge of your material so that you don't miss a spot and have to go back and redo it. 
because that gets kind of tricky. So I'm going to just finish up here. Fingers get mighty close to that to that needle. Uh, that's that's just part of sewing zippers. Of course, back stitching and then raising your thread guide all the way up with your hand wheel. You're always cranking towards you, which is counterclockwise. And then you're gonna bring out. Of course, trim your threads. There is your zipper. And then now you're gonna want to top stitch. And so you just open it up. You could press it. You're just gonna make sure everything is good that you didn't miss any spots. You're gonna basically you're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go this way. So that's the way my zipper foot is set up. Again, you're keeping your zipper aligned on that foot. Right by the teeth there. The only difference for top stitching is you want to be close, fairly close to that edge. I'm not going to say as close as possible because when you're just learning that can be tricky. So you want to be close to the zipper teeth, but you also don't want to go off. You want to keep a nice straight line. If you're just starting, uh, if, you, if you start at your furthest position, I mean, I'm sure you'd be fine. Just make sure that you're actually on the zipper tape on the inside so this part but on the inside so that you're holding it down because that's exactly what we want to do so let's go sew it and i'm going to move my pull out of the way it is i find it easier to sew when it's the zipper's actually zipped up but sometimes it's not always the case So there you have it. And then I will just do the same on the other side and finish this pouch, but that's how you sew in a zipper. And w the other side can get kind of confusing, so let me just show you how you're gonna line that up. So remembering that this is your front, so you want, if this is kind of how I have to think about it sometimes. So this is how I want it to look when it's done, but I need to sew along this raw edge. So I need these two right sides together. So I'm gonna bring it around. And in this particular project, I wanna make sure that these are lined up as best as possible. There is some room for, for fixes later, but just try and line it up as best you can. And then if you wanna flip it over, still lining these up as best we can and then you bring in your liner piece again right side down this zipper is sandwiched in there and then we just sew it up the same way we did the first side it's kind of confusing that I have you know all four layers on the same side but once you do one of these and I'll link once I do the video for this pouch, I will link to it in the description here. Um, it'll it'll make a lot more sense. This is a such a versatile project. I've made so many of these, I've given them as gifts, and I get so many compliments on them. Hey, so now I have my two sides of the zipper. And I'm going to top stitch on this side and of course if you have directional fabric like I do directional fabric just means that it goes one direction so I can't have these upside down so you of course want to make sure that the top is to the top and the bottoms to the bottom so there is a functional zipper and this is a closed end zipper you can see it doesn't open at this end and that's what you want for most things bags and uh, you know dresses or pants zipper flies the times you're gonna want to open zippers is for vests or coats or things of that nature so that's all there is to it. Zipper is pretty simple and using a zipper foot makes it super easy.
Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow along for the next video and I will be sure to do up the full tutorial for the zipper bag very soon, if not already, and then you'll be able to make a cute little zipper pouch like this for your kids or for yourself, and I will definitely link to that in the description once I have that up. And in the meantime, go ahead and watch some of my other videos and follow me on social media so you can see some of the other fun things I'm up to. Instagram, I'm always posting on there what's what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. This video, big thumbs up if it helped you so I know to do more videos like this or leave me a comment of what else you're looking for, what else you're hoping to learn.